All right, everyone. So let's get started building out this application. So the first thing that we are going to want to do is we are going to want to set up our project. Now, I've already done a little bit of the setup, uh, not much, but I've created an empty create React app project and I've deleted everything inside of app and I've got rid of some of the files in the source folder that's not really necessary for now. Um, so I only have the app.js, the index CSS, the index.js and the service worker. And I've added a few assets now. Uh, I've added some fonts that I'm using and I've added the icon that we are using in the header as a logo. And I've added a prettier RC file that just makes uh, some auto formatting to my code. Uh, and it's just an empty object, so it uses the default settings. Um, yeah, so if you want to go ahead and follow along, just set up a project similar to this. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of font you use um, and stuff like that, but uh, just use Create React App to set up your project because we are going to be using some things that are um, kind of specific to Create React App and you'd need to do a lot of some setup on your own if you want to make that happen, like uh, we're going to be using CSS modules, for example. But uh, let's get started uh, building out this header. So I want to just build up this top far part first, and then we'll go ahead and build the, the widget or the uh, info boxes uh, that are going underneath here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll start by creating a new uh, file in source and we're gonna put it in a folder called components and we're gonna call it header and header.jsx and we are also going to be adding a CSS file here uh, just made this a functional component so let's return a header tag hello world and inside of this same directory we are going to be creating a header module.css now this will make our CSS into modules and that's helpful because uh, a CSS module is CSS that's localized to the component that you're creating. So uh, it will take the CSS that we write and it will add a hash uh, or scramble the CSS name so that we are able to get uh, CSS that only applies to the elements that we want to apply it to. And in my mind, that's useful because if you've ever worked on a project a large project with a lot of CSS in the global scope, then you know that it can be easy for the CSS to kind of uh, override each other and you can have the conflicting rules and you ended up, uh, you wanted to change one little thing and you ended up spending a day or two days trying to figure out how to solve this mess. And CSS modules avoids all of that. And that's why I like it. And uh, it also happens um, to be pretty easy to implement. So I'll be using that in this course. And uh, right here, you can see I put the header module CSS inside of the header folder. And I do that because I like to optimize uh, for deletability. Especially with CSS, uh, it's something that almost never gets deleted unless it's with right with the component that it belongs with. Um, so I tend to structure my applications this way, 
Uh, you're of course free to do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Uh, that's up to you. But okay, let's get started. So we want this to have a bit of 100% uh, padding, 10 pixels and background. Um, let's say blue for now. You know, actually I'm going to do this right away. Uh, we're going to grab <coughs> We're gonna grab the colors for this header. Uh, and as you can see, it's a gradient. So we need to grab two colors. And we're going to say, uh, we're gonna make this into CSS variables. So let's go over to our index CSS. And I want to, Create a root and let's say header gradient top and assign this hex value. And then I'll go back and grab this one. And we'll call that header gradient bottom. Okay, great. Now in header module CSS, I want to say var header gradient top. And then let's go to app.js and import our component just so we can see in the browser what we are working with. So put it inside of uh, the application and hit save. And let's go back to our header and import the CSS. So when we're using modules, uh, we're importing an object from the CSS file. And the object will contain the classes that we define. So inside of header module CSS, we'll have uh, a class with the name of header. And to use it in header JSX, we have to import it uh, as a JavaScript object and we'll use it by going styles.header, which is the name of our class name. So if we save that and then we head over to our browser, we can see that we now have the beginnings of a header with the color of the top part of the gradient. Great. Let's keep going. So inside of this header, we want to display two things. We want to display the logo and we want to display the user information. Now, we don't have a picture right now, so we're just gonna make a placeholder for the user information. And um, the logo we actually have imported as an asset, so we'll be using the SVG for that. So let's go ahead and build that out. So we need to get some markup in place here. Uh, so we're gonna create a div with a class name of styles logo container. And we are going to import our logo. And this is another React, uh, create React app specific thing. So we're going to create import React component as logo from, and then we'll give the path to the uh, SVG. So that'll import the SVG as a React component so that we can use it in our markup like this. So we're just saying that we have a uh, logo and we, we use it as a regular React component. Now we want to give that a styles 
and let's give that a class name of logo. And then we also want to span in here that says stock, which basically is the, the name that's going to be displayed um, on the right side of the logo. So uh, let's also add the user information user information uh, let's say user container and we want a placeholder for the image so we're going to say styles user that's going to be that we're going to put a j inside and we want a span and that's going to say we're just going to hard code that for now let's say jake all right, so let's see what it looks like. It's not gonna be pretty and it's horrendous, sweet. Um, so let's fix it. We need to add some CSS here. So we'll go to our module and we'll start with the logo container. We'll say display flex and we'll say the header also display flex and justify content space around and we're gonna say the logo container align items center just to make sure that everything aligns up correctly uh, so let's go back and grab the logo so we want the logo to be maybe with the 40 pixels height of 40 pixels and the fill should be white and let's go ahead and say Yeah, let's keep that for now. And margin, we wanted to add a margin right so that the text isn't completely into the logo. So margin right, eight pixels. And yeah, I think that's enough for now. Let's say 35, I think 40 is too much. And then uh, logo container, we'll give this a color of FFF is, or white as well. So uh, our text is also white. So uh, let's see what we're working with again. Uh, yeah, that looks better. Now we need to fix the user information as well. So let's head over to our header and grab the user container and we're gonna say display flex align item center and we're gonna say that the user is going to be a width of 32.5 pixels a height of 32.5 pixels border radius of 50% which will make it a circle and margin right, eight pixels. And the color should be bar header gradient top. And let's say display flex justify content center line items center and background color white okay and the color of the user container should be you know what let's just put it here and then remove that and we get less CSS and it should still work the same 
So let's take a look at what we got. All right, so now we have our the beginnings of our header. Uh, if you go back here, you can see that uh, we still have some work to do, but uh, I think that we are going to tackle adding these uh, information boxes in the next video. So I'm just going to leave it here for now. And then when we come back, we'll look at adding these elements up here because um, they are quite important to how the overall look is going to be. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.